Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this multi-purpose KPI spreadsheet dashboard to help you measure month over month growth rate, tracking your progress towards your monthly or weekly goals in a cute progress bar and customizable emojis. So this template is designed for social media marketers, small business owners, or anyone who want to be committed to achieve their goals. It's very simple to use this spreadsheet. First, you just need to fill in the goals for each month or each week, depending on which tab you're in. And then you'll have to key in what is the metrics for each month. Then the monthly growth or weekly growth rate will be generated as well as the goal percentage and the target achieved along with the target exceeded by it's also worth mentioning that this template is completely customizable. For example, if you want to change the color of the progress bar or if you want to change um, the font type, the font size and all the emojis, you can do that. So in my template, it includes five metrics. So now I'm going to show you how we can add uh, another one or two metrics down here. So what I will do is actually to just select the cells here. So I will just press here and then I'll press down the shift and press the last column. Sorry, last row. Then I'll press right click and I'm going to insert 11 rows below. And I'm going to do it one more time so I have more space down there. And I'm going to copy this table right here. Just select this frame here from B to I for one metric. If you need to, just feel free to just do this. And then we can just right click and hit copy. And now I'm going to go here, which is the same column, column B, but I'll just leave uh, one space or you can leave two space if you like. Then I'm going to right click and click paste. All right, so now you can see that we have added two um, metrics down there. You can just name it at six, or you can just key in your metric, seven. And then I can start keying in the metrics again. So you can see once I enter the numbers, you can generate a growth rate for me. So that's how we do. So this is the growth change, sorry, the growth rate which is the month over month change. And here we have a goal here. So this is for you to key in your goal. For example, your January goal is maybe 10. So you will show you the goal rate or the progress towards the goal, as well as an emoji to, uh, to give you a symbol of whether you have hit your goal or not. You can also customize your emoji here. You can just change it to something like, um, Maybe this one, if you like, it's really up to you. You can just change your formula here and then drag it down so it will apply to every row in this table because we haven't exceeded the target, so it won't show us anything. So in case for the second month, the goal is also 10. You can see the emoji is different and then the growth, um, sorry, the goal here, the progress bar is like full and you can see the goal percentage and you can see that we have exceeds the target by five. So that's how we use it. And it's pretty easy to just duplicate it. If you need more, just follow the same steps and, and add more at the bottom. Same for this uh, format, you can just do the same. It's actually the same, just that this one has a performance review part. If you need that, you can use this one. Else you can just hide this sheet or just delete it if you want. And then for the weekly growth, here I'm going to do something a bit different. So I'm going to show you this one. So for example, if your weekly um, date for with this one is different, you can just select, for example, if your week one is start from 2nd Jan to maybe 8th January, then you can select it. And then you can um, select for the second week, which is for start from 9 January to 15 January. And I'm going to do it for one more month so that later on we can just copy everything down there. 
instead of um, selecting it again and again. So right now I have three rows selected. So I'm going to use the second and third row, which is row six and seven. So I'm going to just select it like this. And you can see there's a square thing here. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. So you can see that this is um, the new year. So it's until 31st. So this one is actually redundant. So you can just delete it. But in case you need more, for example, you need more than this. Mine is until week 52, if you see the original version. So what you can do is just to right click and insert one row below. And then you can just drag everything down here. So it will give you um, another week. And for others, you also have to just drag down a little bit. So you copy down all the formulas. So now I can just start to use it. So you can see that when I key in the numbers, the growth rate will be generated. And after you have key in um, the goal, same as the monthly tracker, you will see how many goal percentage we have reached and the target achieved. So that's how you can use this. Then I'll move on to teach you how you can um, create uh, another few metrics for a weekly growth tracker. So what we can do is to select from L to R. So you can hold down the shift and select R. So it will select entire column from L, L to R. So I'm going to right click and insert seven columns to the right and I'm going to do it again so in case you need to eat in case you need to add two metrics you just um, insert two times if you need more just insert more to the right so now I'm going to come back to L again to R same thing Click on L and hold down your shift and click R and then right click and click copy. So it's going to copy the entire thing, including our uh, formulas. So I'm going to click on S, right click, paste it. So now we have another matrix here. And you can name it as metric name tree. Sorry, tree. And then we go to column Z, select this, right click, paste it. And this is our metric 5. And we can do the same for metric 6. Yep. And now we're going to test it, see if it works. Oops, I skipped a number. It's okay. So, yep, I'm going to start right here for the new one that I have added. So you can see it's five, six, one, something like this. It works for the growth change, week of wind change. And let's test if it works for the goals part. Yep, it works. You can see that it's actually working. And I believe this one is working as well. Let's just test it. Okay, it's working. So that's all that I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thank you so much for supporting my templates. I really hope that these templates are a very helpful tool for you to keep track of your goals so that we all can achieve success in our life and yep thank you so much and see you next time